Hello everyone, welcome to Think Than Code. Today we will be solving the problem maximum number of points from grid queries. This point appeared as the fourth problem of the weekly contest. So let's understand the problem. You are given an M into an integer matrix grid and an array of queries for size k. Find an answer of size k where for each integer query i, you start in the top left cell of the matrix and repeat the following process. If query i is strictly greater than the value of the current cell, then you get one point for your first visit of that cell and then you can traverse all four adjacent direction of that cell. Otherwise, you do not get any points and you end this process. After the process, answer i is the maximum number of points you can get. For each query, you are allowed to visit the same cell multiple times. Okay. So, we have to return the vector of the answer. So what the problem is saying is we are given this type of grid 1, 2, 3, 2, 5, 7 and 3, 5, 1 for and we are also given a query vector. So for each query, let's assume this is phi query. We have to start traversing from the top. So this one is the top of the grid, top left of the grid and we start traversing and we traverse to each cell in its four direction where cell value is strictly less than phi. So we can go from 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and from here 1 to 2 and 2 to 3. So in total we can traverse only 5 cells. Hence the answer here is 5. Instead if it would be 6 then we could have from 1 we could have gone to 2 to 3 then down 1, 2, 3 and then we could have also traversed these both 5 because 5 is strictly less than 6 and from this 5 we could have also gone to this 1. So the answer in that case would have been 8. So that's the question. We have to start from the top left cell of the matrix and tra start traversing to each cell where cell value is less than, strictly less than the query which we are performing. So let's see the constraints. Okay, m comma n is less than 1000 and m into n is less than 10 to the power of 1. Okay. So I hope the question is clear. Let's understand the observation behind it. So the main thing to observe here is we can do offline queries. So what is offline queries? Offline queries is arrangement of queries according to our favor. So which means let's uh, understand this. This is queries 5, 6, 2. So what I want to convey here is Suppose we are given the query S2 and now we have query S5. So the answer of 2 will be included in the answer of 5. So basically the answer of 5 will also include the answer of 2 and a bigger answer will be found. Now if we have a query S6, the answer of 5 will be included in the answer of query 6. So we will form a bigger answer of 6. Why? Because as soon as we are moving in an increasing fashion of queries, we, we have actually more freedom of including the cells in our answer. Why? Because if q is equal to 2, we can only include the cells in which uh, the cell value is less than 2. Now we go to 5, we can include all those cells where cells value can be less than 5. Now we go to 6, now we can include all those cells with cell value less than 6. So as soon as we are ascending in the order of queries, in the sorted order, we actually have more freedom. So that's the basic observation here. Let's understand the algorithm with the dry run. Uh, I will be explaining the algorithm with dry run. So first we are, what we are doing is we are getting the queries. And since I said in the observation, first we sort the queries. Why we sort the queries? Because the answer of 2 will be included in 5. So it's beneficial to process the queries in ascending order. So we first sort the queries and then we have indexes here so that we can fill our answers array here. So what we are doing is we are treating this grid as a graph. So in this every cell is basically the node of the graph. Every cell is the node of the graph. So you might think what are the edges? So basically all the adjacent cells, for example, 1, 2, 
टू थ्री टू फाइव 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 ऑल द एडजस्टेंट सेल्स आर कनेक्टेड बाय एजेस सो ट्रीट दिस द एंटायर ग्रिड इज अ ग्राफ एंड ऑल द एडजस्टेंट सेल्स आर कनेक्टेड बाय एन एज नो वॉट आई एम डूइंग इन दिस एल्गो इज फर्स्ट वी आर रिमूविंग ऑल द एजेस सो बेसिकली द ग्राफ इज जस्ट अ एंटायर डिसलोकेटेड ग्राफ विथ नो एजेस फर्स्ट एंड वॉट वी डू इज we start processing queries and as we process queries we add the edges how let's see first we process the query of 2 so all the edges where all the edges of u comma v where max of u comma v is less than 2 we all add those edges so if we see there is no not a single edge where max of u comma v is less than 2 so we can not add any edge so the answer for the third index that is 2 will be 1 why 1 because this node is uh, less than 2 so we fill the first answer now we will go to the query 5 now here we have to add edges so the what the condition says is if there is an edge u to v the max of u comma v should be less than 5 so in this way if we think this then we can add this edge from 1 to 2 we can also add this edge from 2 to 3 we can also add this edge from 1 to 2 we can also add this edge because it's 2 to 3 and that's all we can not add this edge from 2 to 5 why because phi is not less than phi it's equal to phi so now we added these four edges and if we start our traversal from top left that is 1 we will get basically four nodes this one this two this three this another two and this another three so we will get five nodes and that will be answer so for index 0 the answer will be 5 in the same way for 6 we will do since we have this added this edge we don't remove the edge because they are useful for the next queries now this 5 changes to 6 and now we can add this edge of 2 5 we can also add this edge of 2 5 this edge of 5 5 this edge of 3 5 and this edge of 5 1 so now if we traverse from the top left we basically get a uh, six uh, these three these three and these two nodes so basically we get eight nodes so the answer at index 1 would be 8 now you might think hey for every query are we actually doing an entire bfs so the thing is no we are not doing an entire bfs here so how are we getting this answer as 8 and 5 we are using disjoint set here so what we are doing is this we are initializing a disjoint set and then we are adding this edges to our disjoint set and we are utilizing the property of getting the size of a connected component so what we will do is we will apply the operation of get size from this top left corner so that we can get the size of the entire component of this so the answer after adding the edges can be retrieved in big of when using disjoint set data structure so that's when we process 7 so this becomes 7 we can add this uh, uh, if we process 7 we cannot add any other edge i guess because 5 7 we can not add 3 7 we can not add 7 1 we can not add so the answer for the 7 also remains as 8 so that's how we are filling our answer now let's look at the code so our code is divided into four parts so this is the accepted code what we are doing is first we have initialized an structure of edges so there is an edge from u to v this is the max value this is the value which is 
holding maximum of u comma v for every edge and this is the class for union find we have a vector of parent and we have another vector of size we are initializing a dsu here for size of i is equals to 1 because each node is a connected component this is the general find operation this is the general union operation we are updating the size when we are unioning two connected components and this is the get size operator the get size function this is a function which is uh, used to check whether point x comma y is within the grid of size r comma c or not and this is all zero index so let's see the first part of the code is treating the grid as a graph where every cell is a node and there is an edge between edges and cell we store the all edges in a vector and sort all edges based on maximum of grid comma grid grid comma u comma grid comma v so this is the first part this is the main function of our code i created a vector for all edges n comma m n is the row and m is the columns i called a function called process edges which will add all the edges of grid into this vector so let's see this function so here n and m are just rows and columns u and v are nodes so what we are doing is we are traversing entire grid u represent the node on which we are currently are and this is the 1d representation of the 2d grid so what does this mean is let's assume this is the grid 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay. so we all know that this 7 is uh, basically 2 comma 1 but this 2 comma 1 if treated as x comma y can also be written in a 1d format as x into m here m is the number of columns plus y where y is just the y coordinate of it so if we represent 2 comma 1 as this so it will be 2 into 3 plus 1 which will be 7 so that's how 2d representation can be completed to 1d representation we are doing this 1d representation because we want to represent our nodes in union find object so that's it u is our current node we check first towards its right and towards its left if there is a node towards it right and left we get that node in 1d representation and we create edge this is basically u comma v and the max of grid of i comma j and whatever cell we are referring to that is the right cell or the down cell and we push the edge to our vector this holds importance because basis on the basis of this we are sorting our array for example if the edge is between 4, 4 and 5 then this this part of it is the max value this max value and the max value if the edge is 4 5 so the max value for this will be 5 because max of 4 comma 5 is 5 so that's it we are just pushing edges in this function and what we are doing next is we are sorting this edges based on our max value in ascending order in the second part of our code we are just creating a disjoint set object so just creating a union find object of size n into m because we want to represent the entire grid in the part three what we are doing is we are sorting the queries to process them in ascending order as we seen in the observation so we have created a vector q of pair of int comma int y pair because we also want indexes for the answer so we traverse the queries array and push back this pair the first part of this pair is the actual query and the second part is the index 
and then we sort this q array the queries array in the four part what we are doing is we are processing each query and adding edges to the dsu based on max of grid of u comma grid of v and the answer of the current query will be the size of the component whose parent is grid of 0 comma 0 so here we have an answer vector we have created it to the size of queries we have ed pointer ed pointer is basically pointing to the vector of uh, all edges currently its index is 0 we process each query we check whether our ed pointer which is the index to the all edges is less than all edges dot size and this is the second condition which is given in the question that is the node which has to be in the answer its value should be less than the query which we are doing if it is then we add this as to our object union fine object and increment the pointer whenever this loops ends we first check that if grid 0 comma 0 is less than current q dot first not dot now this condition is important why because uh, let's assume instead of 1 we have uh, something else let's assume instead of 1 we have phi here so if we are querying for 2 this phi cannot be formed as an answer so if phi this phi is since greater than 2 we cannot even start our traversal from top left so the answer will be non zero only if we can start our traversal from the top left and to start our traversal from top left this grid of 0 comma 0 should be less than current q dot first which is our query and that's how we start the traversal now if we are able to traverse we get the size of the component of the node which is top left in it so basically this 0 comma 0 is represented as 0 and we are just getting the size of connected component here and we fill it in our answer this current q dot second is the index here and finally we return our answer i hope you got the code let's understand the time and space complexity so basically talking about time complexity the major time complexity is we are using sorting here and sorting on an n into m size of array which is the array of edges so it will take n into m into log of n into m time complexity and the space complexity here is basically the space of uh, all edges vector which is n into m i hope you got the approach if you have any queries please ask in the comments i will try to resolve it like the video and subscribe. Hope to see you in the next video.